Assalamu alaikum and good evening. Minister of Tourism, Arts, Culture, Youth and Sports, Dato Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza disclosed that his ministry would open up opportunities for State Assemblymen or ADUN to undergo internship training program. Commenting on the acceptance of pending representative Violet Young as an intern under his ministry, he explained openness should be in handling such matters. According to him, he was only keen to share knowledge with the appropriate parties because the understanding of each individual reflects on the extent of one's knowledge level. Well, Violet Young will be starting uh, her internship with us. I'm very happy about that. And, but then we'll open it up to other other adults also. We, we have to be open on this kind of thing. He told these two reporters after opening the 13th Asia Pacific Orchid Conference. Deputy Chief Minister Dato Omar Douglas Ugambas disclosed that 62 Rural Transformation Program RTP projects have been approved for 2019. These included 43 for Bukit Saban State Constituency and 19 for the Betong Parliament. He was pleased to note that the 17 RTP projects for Bukit Saban Constituency had achieved 88.2% implementation rate in 2018. Similarly, 27 of the RTP projects from the Betong Parliamentary Constituency for Bukit Saban had achieved 88.9% implementation rate. The State Customs Department has seized 18 foreign registered luxury cars, including Ferrari, Lamborghini and Rolls-Royce, for evading custom duties amounting to 8.15 million ringgit. The vehicles, which included several other models, including Mercedes, Range Rover and Toyota, were valued at 4.7 million ringgit. Custom Deputy Director General Enforcement and Compliance, Dr. Azima Abdul Hamid said, the vehicles were confiscated in a special operation carried out by Customs and the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission, MACC, from July 9 to 12. Shared initial investigations found that the foreign vehicles were suspected to have overstayed the allowed period using fake vehicle permits and several other offences under the Customs Act 1967. All the vehicles were registered in Brunei while the owners all of them Malaysians have been detained and released on bail of between 5,000 ringgit and 10,000 ringgit each pending further investigations. That's all from me. For more news, go to tvsrot.com. Don't forget to share this video. I'm Yusuf. Thanks for watching.